Okay. Santa, as far as your work goes, I mean, how do you explain it to a lay person? ONG and... Uh, what we do? Yeah. Um, okay, we are an um, NGO, French NGO, named Code to NG. Code stands for cartography, ONG for NGO. Yeah. Um, and we do mapping, mapping services and information management, and for humanitarian organizations. And the main partner is uh, UNHCR. We've done also some work for UNGLC and f we're probably going to start to work for OCHA as well. No, WHO and maybe OCHA. Yeah, but in, 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 uh, in ordinary language, what does it translate to? A map that can be used for relief? How exactly? Yeah. How? Well, it, it really depends on, on what the partners on the ground are interested in. So um, for uh, units here, we did actually uh, various maps. I mean, it was just location maps where we would map the new return locations which just came up after the people moved out of the camps for example and the um, organizations, humanitarian organizations needed to know what infrastructure is on the place, what can be easily rehabilitated and how many people move back so um, to kind of prioritize the areas where they wanted to rehabilitate and then we also did some thematic maps on, on the camps um, but we had like indicators in terms of uh, how crowded they are and um, the water availability and, and things like that. People don't understand how important maps are in a certain sense, but uh, you would argue that it has a wider role in life, not just humanitarian aid? Oh yeah, for sure. I mean, maps you could use for really any purpose. Um, I think in humanitarian aid it's just people just slowly realized that the spatial context actually really matters um, for your logistical planning but also for your decision making. I mean I think one striking example we did for advocacy was like um, that um, those corridors for freedom of movement were mapped and then each time uh, were brought back to um, the authorities to kind of rediscuss. So, how about this area? This area is not free, so people cannot move there yet. Um, how about this one? And then they would decide based on whether they could secure the area or not, and what's on the ground, whether they could actually open it up for freedom of movement as well. So they're like, they're really gazillions of, of um, examples that you could use it for. And what's the most exciting example you've seen maps being used for in the alternative sector or humanitarian purposes? Oof, there are many. That's a hard question, really. Um, I think the ex more exciting maps are when you do like some some analysis and when you do like cross-cutting issues. Um, we did some maps on um, police deployment and. Uh, um, basically the police got bicycles and we go kind of drawing a radius on how far they could get um, and also where they had radios and then kind of cross cut to see which areas were um, not secure because the police could not really reach there easily with their bicycles. In Africa? Yeah, that was in Africa. That was, uh, that was in, in Uganda actually. It was the biggest project we had. Thanks a lot and all the best.